let's look at the defense for post based CSRF so this is the vulnerable page over here so first we're gonna make a variable session token and a SHA, SHA hash of unique ID which creates a unique ID based on um, micro time and again a random function over here which creates a random integer and combine them both together to create a SHA1 hash so whatever that token is will be random and over here in the HTML we're going to create a hidden type input and we'll give the name token and the value of that is going to be session token that was created there in the PHP so before the secret is changed we're going to create an if condition and that condition is going to be that if the post token which is submitted by the HTML is the same as the post token in the PHP then it will do all these actions So let's load the page again and the page looks the same so let's go to perp suit intercept it so let's give a new secret and give change and it's being intercepted by perp suit and you can see the secret is over here and the action is over here but there has been a new um, data that is being sent that is the token so this is the token so we'll just forward that go back to the app and you can see it has been changed let's try to send a new secret and if you go to burp so you can see that the token has completely changed because it is random If an attacker is trying to do a CSRF attack like before and he only sends the action and the secret but he does not have access to the token so his request will look something like this and he makes the user send it there will be no change because it will not be processed by the page.